Wednesday from Harvey, the record guy. Harvey Leeds? Harvey Leeds. Okay. He said Ozzy was available. Oh, yeah? Yeah, to come in on our show, which I was very honored because I'm a big fan of Ozzy. Wow. I'm really into Ozzy's new album. I'm into Ozzy, but Harvey said I'd better behave myself. I said, what do you mean? What are you talking about? When have I ever dicked around with uh, Ozzy? I've only interviewed Ozzy one other time. Is Ozzy upset with you? No. He's not upset. He's just nervous to come on the show. Because he wants Harvey to come in with him. I said, is, is he here? I said, yeah. Oh. Ozzy's here. Oh. He's ready. Oh, my goodness. I said, how could Ozzy... Ozzy... This guy eats bats. Yeah, he eats he eats bats. How could Ozzy be ma nervous with me? I'm more nervous interviewing Ozzy because Ozzy's a tough interview. Yes, he is. Because Ozzy, you know, he don't like to talk. <laughs> Didn't Candy tell you he ran into Ozzy the other day and Ozzy just grunted at him? Yeah. <laughs> First time I ever interviewed Ozzy, he just grunted at me. <laughs> and after I interviewed him, I ran into him at a hotel by a pool. I don't even think Ozzy recognized me. I don't know. We were with Ozzy for a week, and I don't think he recognized us every day. <laughs> So please bring in Ozzy. And where's the chair for Ozzy? Is he going to sit on the floor? John's a John is off. really. Gary's John not here today, and John. Took the chair. John took the chair away. <laughs> He's a little overwhelmed. Bring in Ozzy. Bring in Harvey. Bring in everybody. Ozzy Osbourne, one of the greatest, one of the greatest frontmen ever. How could you ever be nervous by me? I'm not nervous. But I was detoxing the last time I was there. <laughs> oh, that, oh, that was a little one. You know, that's right. You know what? I was the doing big time rides with the wife because I was doing too many bad things to myself. Yeah, put this microphone in front of you. Do I have to have these chairs? Oh, yeah. The headphones? Uh, yeah, yeah, but we're also going to hear Robin and stuff. Okay. Yeah, put put the uh, microphone near you, Ozzy. Yeah. Let me, let me soak you in, man. Let me look at you. Let me look at you. What is that around his neck? That's some uh, satanic stuff. I have that same stuff. <laughs> I got all that jewelry. Certainly is. Let me just wild. look at you. What's the matter? Are you falling in love with me, or something? <laughs> no, let me let me stare at you, man. I'm not falling in love with you. Take it easy. What do you think? I, what do you think? I go that way? I'm getting crazy. Yeah, no. no, no. Listen, Ozzy. Look at how good Ozzy looks. Look, look how healthy you look. That's good. You know, now that I think about it, the first time I did interview you, I was, I was your hands were shaking and everything. You were a mess. I was drinking four bottles of Hennessy a day, <laughs> two cases of beer. About four grams of coke, uh -huh. all the rest of this garbage. And like, when I came, I came and did this interview, and Sharon, my wife Sharon was going, because no, she gives me the orders. Right, know? right. She goes, no, I met her. Do, just do this, do that. And so I've got her in the back of my head, like the, the good one and the bad one. If you say this, you'll say that. So I'm, I'm coming to do this interview. And saying, good, excellent. Here. <laughs> <laughs> he left his wife at home, finally. Hey, Harvey, how you doing, dude? Harvey. Harvey's just waiting. I'd be more nervous having Harvey in the room than uh, having him with you. You like hanging out with Harvey? You like hanging out with yeah, Harvey? I'm, I'm, we go back many years. Yeah, Harvey's a good man. He's a very good man. Who's the other dude with you? You got a little entourage with you today. It's my, my sidekick, Tony Dennis. He's been with me for forever. And oh, you're the guy who takes care of everything? Yep. Yeah, I have one of those. <laughs> it it gets, keeps the police away. And, uh, yeah, I have one of those. I call him Ralph. You have a Tony, I have a Ralph. So now what are you drinking, <laughs> Ozzy? You can't be... drink the Hennessy. Yeah, what are you drinking now? <laughs> I drink coffee. I drink... I've got this new stuff. You've got to try. I brought some down. It's called wheat. Wheat. What is it called? Don't... Oh, wheatgrass. Wheatgrass. It's like... yeah, so you drink all juice. that? It's like wa ho horse piss. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you drink that every morning? <laughs> that keeps you healthy. No, but you've done a complete turnaround in your life. Because I was, I was commenting to someone like Ozzy looks about 20 years younger. No, I said well, what yeah, a... I mean, the last time we met, I was, I was, that was like... You were really messed up. I was really dark on death's door, man. I was, I was talking to Ozzy, and the whole time, like, his hands were shaking, and right, I would talk to him, and he'd be like, Ugh, hey, you were all messed up. And what? then, I remember, there was a whole list of rules the last time. You couldn't ask Ozzy about drugs, you couldn't ask Ozzy, because Ozzy was on yeah, every drug. Yeah, he was drug. doing too many. But now you can ask him about drugs, because he's off it. You know, I, I'm... I, I don't, it, I've just quit smoking, believe it or not. I'm a month without a cigarette, and I, I never thought, I mean, out of all the things I've put through my body, that, let me tell you something. That's the hardest. I, I was watching the TV, the uh, uh, CNN the other day, and I had some of the guys... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can't use the S word, Ozzy. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're, you're saying tobacco. I don't want the audience to miss this. You're saying tobacco is an addictive. Uh, it is an addictive. It, 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 yeah. it is the most addictive substance on the planet. It's it is easier to kick alcohol I'm, and cocaine. Heroin, man. I was taking <laughs> heroin. It was easy. It was easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but how long did it take you to kick heroin? Uh, well, uh, I wasn't really into it. I just shoot, no one just snort it from time to time. But I didn't like throwing up. Right. I'm not, I mean, I don't get that stuff, man. You know what's weird? Because like, people will never understand this. Here you have, like, a lot of money. You got, you know, which, it's unbelievable success, right? I mean, how, what are the odds of anybody ever becoming a super rock star? 
and you have everything in the world, and then you're like on heroin and on coke, and people go, well, how can he do this? <laughs> how come he's not happy? How come he's not happy? But, you know, it's not, unha not being happy, it's not, well, it comes with the territory, you know. You, you're so, hey, man, would you like to, if you've never tried it before, you want to try everything, you know. <laughs> yeah, you get into it. You, you just want to try it, you know. But when I, I tried heroin, and uh, first time I tried it was in Germany, I thought, oh, the guy gave me the wrong stuff, man, because this can't be any, this can't be the right, I was, Projector and look, you were the vomiting. Look, the ecstasy's pea soup was coming out <laughs> of every orifice in my body for, like, for a month. You know, I was going, man, the guy, give me some laxative or something. You know, you know. And you snorted it, and, and that's always weird too because you're getting this stuff. You don't know what anyone puts into it, and you're probably going, hey, well, man, I'm Andy Osborne. Maybe some guy has a, a vendetta or I something. Tell you one me. thing that cured my athlete's foot. <laughs> <laughs> All that throwing up does it, right? But you, but like the first time you do it. You're throwing up and you're not enjoying it, so what makes you do it a second time? I, I try, then, then I go to LA two months later, two years later, and I'm standing at the Sunset Marquee, which, which at the time was the in place. Which is well, that's where we, that's where we met up with you, yeah, but yeah. you didn't remember me. <laughs> Did we? This, what, this is a really funny story. Well, I've got to take you back to this. I go to California, and I'd interviewed you like a couple of months ago, and Robert and I said, hey, let's stay at the Sunset Marquee because we hear Ozzy hangs out there, a lot of cool people hang out there. And maybe, you know, maybe we'll run into yeah, him. We could have, we'll network We never now. get to mingle. So I'm sitting by the pool five minutes, and you come in with your wife and your daughters and everyone, and it looked picture per Well, it looked kind of weird because, like, you know how you look. Yeah, no, but you're all in and your kids, <laughs> your kids you. look really conservative. They're all wearing nice white dresses. And, and your wife is beautifully dressed. And, like, you, you know, you're walking around, you know. And it was just, it, the whole picture didn't fit. It looked bizarre. And you were all hanging out by the pool because you lived there or something. You've you got to understand. That the wife's the boss, man. Uh, no, I understand that, but it was like... She, she, I mean, when she comes into... I, I, I'm walking around Manhattan the other day, she goes, Ozzy, walk straight. Ozzy, don't look that way. But you must I, like that. No, it's like a pain at my rear end. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I saw Ozzy at a restaurant Ozzie, the other night. You've gone overtime in the bathroom, you know, so... See, my wife does that too to me. I mean, my you wife know, runs I, my I whole life. I in the morning and she's got her knees on my shoulders, squeezing my zits, going... <laughs> Just let me get it. Like, Why do you stay married, though? Obviously, you could be living the life of a bachelor where you would be having sex constantly with different yeah, women. Yeah, but, you know, I'm not interested. I mean, I, it's bad enough with the one, is, is, and it's as good as... <laughs> it's good as it's going to get. It's as good as it's going to get. It's as good and it's as bad. And right. I could get the next Pam Pam and around us and we big knockers and, right. and all that. Right, right. But, you know, it ain't going to last, you know. Well, well, while you're doing it, it's kind of fun, though, isn't it? Well, well, but you got that all out of your system, it, right? It ain't worth a, a three-second leg shot of to worry is my dick going to fall off for the rest of my life. Well, that's true. You're worried about AIDS and all that other stuff. You oh, can not only that. You right. need to keep all your money. Right. You yeah, so get. my first wife cleaned me out, man. <laughs> Did you really? <laughs> oh, I didn't realize you had a, a first wife. Profit, a Honda shopping trolley. She was gone, man. <laughs> all your, and, you know, you write all these great songs and like, you have all this success and then some woman walks off with all of it. Yes, it's ridiculous. I was to die, when, on the last tour, I was t t t touring with a band called Slaughter and the bass player Diamond Strong comes up to me. I've known him for years and he says, you know what? I went back to Vegas. My apartment was gone. Empty. She took everything. <laughs> the key, the lock, the yeah. door, everything was and, gone. And the guy doesn't have that much. I mean, he's in slaughter. It's not like he had $10 million. He needs something to live on, right? <laughs> yeah. You feel bad for the guy. Yeah, so I'll get him a few bucks. It's something to get the house. I didn't realize you had a first wife. What, like when you just like... Yeah, she's now got a job sort of swimming up and down Loch Ness while the monster takes his life. <laughs> she substitutes for the Loch Ness monster. <laughs> oh, oh, she was bad news, huh? So you're saying, like, like, did you get married at a very young age to your yeah, yeah, yeah that's like me. I got married very young. About three. <laughs> what happened? I thought she was my mother for the first 25 years. <laughs> was this before or after you got your graduate degree from Harvard? <laughs> the, uh, you met your wife. No, what, no, what happened? Like you were a young rock no, roll I was, guy? No, I was just slamming every chick, smoking right. all the dub, doing all the drugs. Every friend she'd come in, I'd jump a friend, you know. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> you know, so got guys when, you know... Right, you were very young. You're young, you're successful, you got a million dollars in the bank. You're right. You think your dick's invincible, you know. Right, right. And so you were having some fun. But then that big disease came. I did. Right. Like, that's, ah! that slowed you down. You know, that woke you up. Yeah. When you go to the, 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 the clap doctors now, and they all come out, they go, yeah! You got simpler. <laughs> you're happy. So you're very happily married. You're very happy to be married. Yeah. Yeah, but it, it, it's a pain in the ass. You admit that. I mean, everyone yeah, does. But, you know, some days you get up and it, you, everybody. I mean, you know what gets me when you get these, you know, 
I was watching an old Dick Van Dyke show the other night. <laughs> yeah, right. What were they on, man? <laughs> What the hell were they smoking in those days? What, Dick Van Dyke? No, oh, in that era. Yes. You notice they all have single beds. Yes. How did they make babies, man? Please, I would love that with my wife. I can't get her to sleep in a different bed. I would. I am so I sick. can't get in a double bed with my wife. <laughs> Me neither. I mean, I just don't want to be in a bed with my wife. I tell her I have to go to bed early. I want to sleep. I don't want to be woken up. She snores and stuff. You know, my wife reads and pay, You know, I don't get this, man. The t I got TVs in every room. Right. E every room. Right. The toilet, the bathroom, every room. <laughs> right. So, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I go home, I, 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 I go to bed. She watches the TV. It was O.J. Simpson trial, man. <laughs> it was driving me insane. Yeah, O.J. was on every I channel. I wanted to go and assassinate the guy. Man. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of us wish I mean, you did. But not only does she watch the TV, right. man, she reads them, them these Hello magazine, which is uh, it's like one of these glossy magazines. And my wife turns pages like it sounds like an avalanche. <laughs> And you can't hear the TV. I'm like, darling, I've just taken four seconds off. <laughs> <laughs> so, in other words, Ozzy Osbourne has the same life that we all do. The we all do, man. We I mean, all have the same thing. I mean, like, I mean... I mean, everybody's the same. I mean, some days you get up and you look at your wife and you go, why the hell did I ever Because your wife yell at you like minded. Like, my wife says to me, oh, you think you're a big star. and wh Why can't you take the kids places? And you tell yeah, her, hey, I, I can't I, go I, somewhere. I'm Ozzy Osbourne. I can't be seen walking around in a park. in England. They go, they go, oh, oh it's him again. <laughs> <laughs> they don't care that it's you. I, just, I mean, but Sharon, Sharon, I mean... Uh, she, she, she's, she's the other uh, half of me. I mean. Right. Well, she was your manager for a while, right? Yeah. Is she still managing you? Yeah. Oh, she is? Oh, yeah. All right, so does she go on the road with you and no. stuff? No. no. No, none of that goes on. Well, she comes out, but then she spends a few bucks and she goes back. Right. So, and it's, I mean, all this got junk here. Oh, all that jewelry. She bought that? It's guilt gifts. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> so you can just go out on the road, and if you've got to promote, like, your new album and stuff like that, I you're mean, on your road. It's, 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 uh... I think too much. You can have too much of anything, you know. I mean, it's like so. Uh, you got to get away. Is that yeah. What I'm right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We saw, we saw, yeah, I saw you too. We didn't speak I, to I, each I, other. I said, no, it can't be. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think you knew me, and I didn't. Where did you see Ozzy? You know, at the restaurant. Oh, at the restaurant. Yeah. You know, I am. I went to see Get Shorty. By the way, don't say it. It sucks. Ah. Uh, Go ahead. Yeah. I went to see the kids. My wife's sitting there. I'm um, going, what the hell am I sitting It's a big hype. There's, there's like me and her and not one bum in this movie <laughs> out. I watched Get Shorty Saturday night. Of course, I watched it at home. I, I, I walked out. I said, says, I says, you want to sit and watch this joke? I'm out of it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to waste my life doing this. I, I, I'm walking. I'm in the middle of nowhere. I don't know where. I don't know where I'm in the Bronx. So I'm going to get shot. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like I, got, I got my sleeves over my jewelry. I'm Ozzy, like, I mean, you go to regular movie theater and you sit yeah. there and no one bothers you. They're only going, hey, there's Ozzy Osbourne? Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. But sometimes they don't expect you to be there. You no, wear a disguise, you put a hat nah, on. Nah, no, 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 none of that. <laughs> My wife's in my disguise. She just goes, <laughs> well, that's the whole thing. When I saw to... Ozzy, he was sitting there with his wife, and everybody kept telling me, that's Ozzy Osbourne. I'm right. like, but he's with that woman. Yeah. And she looks like she runs IBM. Right. <laughs> he has a very conservative lifestyle. Well, here's what happened. When I saw you out in California, so this was years ago, and I had just interviewed you and stuff, but you were on drugs and everything. So all of a sudden, you walk by the pool. And I went, wow, there's Ozzy. I wish he's probably going to come over and say hello to us because right. we just interviewed him. So you, like, blew right by us, you know. <laughs> so I, I said, uh, Jesus Christ, this is really embarrassing. Like, I, like, maybe we should go over and say hello to him, but I don't want to go over and say hello to Ozzy Osbourne and bother the guy because, like, you know, maybe he'll start yelling at us, right. and, you know, punch him in the mouth. Or or so who whatever. knows? Like, maybe, yeah. maybe he's not into it. Call hotel security. So I said to Rob, and I have a plan. Jessica Hahn had just got in the news. You know, she was like big news that like she was with Jim Baker and all that. You know. Oh yeah, I yeah. remember that. So, idiot. So, yeah, right. So, so listen to this. Which idiot, Jim Baker or Jessica Hahn? <laughs> Both. Both. I, so, sent, wait, 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 I so. sent Jim Baker a dollar. So anyway, I, I go ahead. Ozzy, listen to this. I turn to Rob and I say, I have a wonderful plan. Ozzy's not going to talk to us. I'll call up Jessica Hahn. I'll call her up, tell her to sit by the pool, tell her to wear next to nothing, mm -hmm. and Ozzy will come over and talk to us. So I call up Jessica Hahn, and she's sitting by the phone. In five minutes, she gets over to the uh, Sunset Marquee, or whatever that's called, Westwood Marquee, whatever it is, Sunset, Sunset Marquee. Yeah. She comes over, sits, as soon as she walks in, you get up, you walk right over to us. That's right, you sat with us. And you sat with us. <laughs>